Sports. As you see this afternoon, the conference has a new champion. Rick Sullivan joins us now with an update. Rick? Boy, it is not too often, if ever. I can't remember when Carolina has ever been beaten three times in one season, but uh, by the same team. Duke did it today, 65-61, to 61, the final from the ACC championship game. The NCAA tournament pairing throughout, we're going to have those coming up later on, as well as the game highlights from this game. Uh, it was really the difference between UNC staying in Chapel Hill for the NCAA tournament or going to Salt Lake Pill. For the third time this year, those Duke Blue Devils took the Tar Heels to the hoop. Tom Suter has the story from the ACC Championship in Greensboro. Oh, man, typical Duke and Carolina. I mean, aggressive, hard fought, down to the wire basketball, and even more so today with the championship on the line. First half, Duke does a good job on Reed and Williams inside. They combine for just 15 points for the game, but Jeff Lebo scores 13 of his 16. Meanwhile, Danny Ferry, 11 of his 19, 37, 37 halftime. Second half, it is Tension City. First one, then the other. This basket by Reed puts UNC up 55-50, but the Tar Heels then go six minutes without a point. Duke takes advantage. They go ahead. John Smith gets loose. Yes! 58-57, Blue Devils. And with 4-11 to go, Danny Ferry, 4-3, swish, 61-57. Now, 61-59, Duke, 128 to go. Billy King at the line, no good, but Ferry, the loose ball in the lane, got it, 63-59. Okay, less than a minute, 63-61, Duke. The Devils trying to run it down, but Ferry struck with the ball by Lebo. King Rice on the move, can tie. But misses the layup. Duke is out with it. Robert Bricky, the other end. He misses. But in the right place, Quinn Snyder. And he's fouled. Four seconds left. Snyder can ice it. He hits one. He hits two. And Duke can celebrate three wins over Carolina and the Atlantic Coast Conference Basketball Championship 65-61. So it is the second time in three years Duke is indeed the number one team in the Atlantic Coast Conference from Greensboro. Tom Suter, Action Sports 5. The NCAA basketball pairings are out, and five teams from the Atlantic Coast Conference have made the field. Here they are. Duke, number two. Get out your pencils. I'm sure everybody's going to want to know these. Duke is the number two seed in the East region. They play Boston University at Chapel Hill on Friday. North Carolina is the number two seed in the West. They are going to play North, Carolina, uh, North Texas State at Salt Lake City. That game is on Thursday. Then NC State, the number three seed in the Midwest, is going to play Murray State at Lincoln, Nebraska on Friday. Georgia Tech is the fifth seed in the East. They'll play Iowa State at Hartford, Connecticut. That's on Friday. Maryland will play on Friday against the University of California at Santa Barbara. That's in the Southeast region. They'll play in Atlanta. More teams of local interest. UNC Charlotte will play BYU, the number four seed in the Southeast region. Outside, outside nobody was giving Duke much of a chance. But inside, the Duke Pep Band pulled a real coup. It grabbed the hot spot. In each of the six previous tournament games, the team whose band sat under the north goal won. Duke today proceeds to make it seven for seven. As usual, Duke wins with defense, especially Danny Ferry and his friends down low. J.R. Reed scores just seven today, only the second time this season he has missed double figures. And Ferry hits some big baskets, like the rebound that puts Duke ahead, 63-59. So, when they announce the MVP, no surprises. Danny! The MVP is nice and everything, but, you know, the fact that our team won the championship and everything just feels great because we really came together. Dan and I are very good friends, and I got to know him really well this past summer. He's a very good human being, and he's a good player, and he's a good human being, and I'm just glad to be associated with him. In 1986, Duke expected to win. Today, well, this is special. You dream about things like this, and uh, sometimes your dreams come true, and sometimes they don't, and I feel fortunate that, that mine did. For Carolina, of course, defeat doesn't come much harder than this. It's disappointing, and the fact that you know we lost AC tournament championship, and also the fact that Nip they beat us three times, and um, it's just very disappointing and it hurts really bad. And so Duke sweeps. Yeah, but a lot of you guys are going to be moving around. Right? No, not to forget their toothbrushes, right? Uh -huh. Give yourself a shot of B12. March Madness is here. Our lead story is the final Associated Press college basketball poll, and the highest-ranking ACC team in this final poll. Well, the ACC tournament champion, senior Billy King and Kevin Strickland cut the tournament championship net down. The Blue Devils were eighth last week in the AP poll. This week, the Devils are five. Take a look at the new final poll, according to AP. Final poll for the regular season. The Temple Owls at a wise old 29-1, and one, leading the heap. Arizona, Purdue, Oklahoma. Duke now 25-6, and six, ranked fifth this week. Kentucky, then North Carolina, 24-6, and six, ranked seventh. 
Pittsburgh, Syracuse, Michigan, and North Carolina State at 24 and 7 in the final poll, the only other ACC team ranked according to AP. We all learned last night that the NCAA planned to reward the ACC tournament champs with a first round site here in the States. And of course, the tournament victory goes when Quinn Snyder secures the championship with two last second free throws. The celebration is on. Duke beat North Carolina. Look closely. You'll see Mike Krzyzewski smack in the middle of the melee. Duke's Danny Ferry is the ACC tournament MVP. Well, I had some up and downs. You know, I didn't shoot the ball real well, but, uh, you know, my teammates really helped me keep my composure throughout the whole tournament. And, you know, it really means a lot that we stuck together. The Duke Blue Devils do their interviews celebrating the ACC tournament win while the Tar Heels are in the locker room discussing the NCAA tournament because that's where they go from here. I definitely wanted to win, you know, going, you know, winning going to the NCAA tournament, but uh, now we have to just go back in the gym and start over. So now the ACC tournament champions need only to cross the county line. The Blue Devils... But they are doing it with smiles on their faces. Chamber of Commerce officials say the weekend games brought in $6 million. Final calculations show 16,500 tickets were sold. Hotels flashed their no vacancy signs within 50 miles. Good grief. Yes, sir. Very successful. <laughs> Big business. Uh, well, they got like. some of our money. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was a fun tournament. Uh, the first few rounds, you know, the, fir the first round was frankly pretty boring. But uh, starting with the Duke State game, which was a mm -hmm. fun game to watch, and then the championship game yesterday. Yesterday, two teams that really respected each other went at it, and they went at it tooth and nail. Yeah, they did. So it's on to the, uh, the NCAA. We'll be carrying uh, Duke and State and Carolina, their opening round games. By the way, this is just out. This is the Associated Press All-American team just off the press on it. J.R. Reed of Carolina on the first.